We're hearing from a couple first on the scene of a crash that left two people dead. Police say 75-year-old Michael Sioprina hit a bicyclist, then ran into a concrete pole. First responders say he died at the scene, but the bicyclist, 26-year-old Ashley Near, died from her injuries at the hospital. Channel 4's Nicole Schneider is live on the west side. Nicole. Janice, a terrible tragedy in just the last hour that we were here. Some of those people who pulled over last night to help these victims set up a memorial. They didn't even know them, but they came back out here today because they were just so torn up about this. You can see that they've since replaced the pole, but last night this entire power pole was knocked over onto that bicyclist. And one of the men I talked to says he used this concrete pole right here as leverage to get that pole off that bicyclist to get her to uh, the rescue when the ambulance came. They took her to the hospital and she later died of her injuries. We do want to show you some video of that crash last night. The people um, on Wilson Boulevard, police say Michael Cio Prina drifted across two lanes of traffic heading west on Wilson. Then he went up on the sidewalk and hit Ashley near before colliding with a concrete pole. At April Green and her fiance say they were driving to the grocery store when they saw the car on the side of the road. That's when they pulled over and saw a girl knocked off her bicycle and trapped under that power pole. At that point, they say the 75 year old driver appeared to be dead, but near was still breathing. They helped get the concrete pole off her, but she later died at the hospital. I was really hoping that we would done enough to at least save her, but the the car had to hit her going very hard. I mean, the, the car hit her hard. And if it was, if he hit that pole hard enough to knock it down and hit her first, it, 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 it's so sad. And I'm, I want to send my deepest condolences to the family and the friends that she had around here. I didn't even know her, but my heart's breaking for her. And Green says that woman's face will be forever ingrained in her memory. It's been a very rough and emotional day for her. Right now, police aren't sure why that driver veered off the road last night. They're still investigating that part of the case. We'll keep you updated on that as soon as we get that information. For now, reporting live on the west side, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.